Hey there, welcome to Charger Games, this is Raja and there's a big news in the market as you guys know or probably some of you don't know so I just want to let you know that the new version of Unity 3 that is Unity 5.3 is released finally so it has got a lot of new features, a lot of new updates so I'm really very really, really excited and I hope you guys are excited too so in this video I'm just gonna make a small announcement about the features that new features that has come in unity 5 so let's go and take a look at that so as you can see here uh, unity 5.3 is released and they have written a blog post where they have mentioned about all the new features that has come there are lots of lots of new features it's a big big update as you know they have provided a new version of monodevelop monodevelop the tool that we use to uh, write our code they have given a new version for monodevelop so probably you are not going to use uh, visual studio anymore and they have also provided many capabilities like we can now uh, we can now edit multi scenes that is more than one scene in our game and we can edit uh, both of them at the same time okay More, moreover they have given a lot of new uh, the new updates for the physics there are a lot of new things going on in the physics scene so let's take a look at the blog post and of course I'll put a link in the description below so that you guys can check the blog post if you guys can see that they have given a update to the mono develop then we have this multi scene management capability then we have this uh, 2d tools uh, here um, now we can give a special effector by which you can use anything as a uh, liquid or a fluid so that uh, you can easily make a water or whatever moreover now you can make your own primitive shapes and there are some more physics things like as you can see here we have a target joint 2d relief relative joint 2d fictional joint 2d and fixed joint 2d and more and more so as you can see here we have as I've said you guys that we can now quickly create primitive shapes previously we could create this kind of shapes only in 3d like we could we could create cubes and if you have seen my tutorials most of the time I used quad and removed the 3d collider from it and then use it as a 2d primitive shape but we couldn't actually use a 2d primitive shape by default so now unity has the capability in 5.3 to create new primitive shapes like squares or hexagons or circles or uh, triangles and everything and moreover it has efficient rendering and it has a new particle effects 3d rotation controls and all that stuff there are lots of lots of new features and the big feature that I really like that is it has now the new in-app purchases so unity has made the in-app purchases integrating in-app purchases in your game very very easy so now probably it will be very easy I haven't tried my hands on in this but once I check that out I'll surely tell you guys and probably I'll create a video I'll create some videos soon so uh, to let you guys know about the new features and teach you everything so that you guys can start creating awesome games with Unity 5.3 so this it for this video I just wanted to update you guys hope you guys are very very excited for this update and I am really very excited so just go and grab the download and I will probably uh, soon make some videos describing the features demonstrating the features of Unity 5.3 so that you guys can re be ready and create your own games so that's it for this video if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe so that you can check out the tutorials once they come so thank you guys for watching have a great day and see you in another video thanks a lot for watching